VPNs or virtual private network are used today for many reasons but all of them are the same things basically you are securely connecting our individual client most of the time which is a PC to a large service provider now in olden days these types of connections were mostly used in businesses let's say when a large employer wishes to allow employees to access a secured internal network over the internet while working from home or in the field but it is becoming very common in the present world we see them being used by even small businesses or even individuals who use it for a range of reasons who wish to keep their activities online secure and private now the first step of security process for a vpn involves creating a tunnel protocol which acts as a tunnel for the information packets being transferred to pass through now inside this tunnel lies your so-called data which is also encrypted or introduction of dummy codes into the data packets prevents prying eyes from seeing anything other than a garbled chunk of data you might say then okay then if data transfer happens basically in the same way the other internet traffic does while offering a very high level of personal protection and the ability to access secure networks from abroad and also with no downsides so let's just use them all the time well see although some vpn companies have made utilizing their services as easy as a double clicking the correct icon and beginning to surf and also they are getting more and more affordable some pages and services might not work correctly over a vpn the content loading performance can be affected as well so weighing the pros and cons i would suggest using vpn if it is helpful to you and slower speeds and incomplete pages are not an issue for you that's all for today thank you for watching this video like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't comment about it share it and as for always subscribe to ss tech studios for more videos like this